Welcome to Theoretical Synthesis of Linear Acetylenic Carbon, SP1 Hybridization Carbine, and Theoretical Synthesis of Polycyclic Aromatic Carbon, SP2 Hybridization, Graphene. Okay, uh, here we go through the uh, processes of atomic layer deposition, SP1 and SP2 hybridization. Okay, now we have our carbon atoms coming in at the top of the machine in the ground state. This is their spin state here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, they, they come down here. Remember, this is amorphous or carbon dust. Ordinary carbon dust, we hit them with energy, thermal or electric. Okay, that puts them into an excited state here with their electron spins in, in this order. Okay, now they come into the main chamber area, they're falling through uh, space and time due to the effects of gravity. Or, and, and of course, there's a, an applied magnetic field here, B naught. Okay, now we're hitting them with a, a, a proton gun, so we're hitting them with protium atoms, we're hitting the carbon atoms with protium atoms. That's arranging the atoms, spreading them out, as you might say. They're falling through space and time. Okay, our electron gun is our microscope. That's for quality control. So we can see the carbon atoms landing on the substrate down here, which is the applied magnetic field. Now that the carbon atoms are ordered upright and they are now hybridized, whether you want uh, SP1 hybridization or SP2 hybridization, whatever you're going after, they land on this um, landing pad here. They, la they land on their respective nodes. Uh, the negatively charged nodes because remember the carbon atoms are now positive because we hit them with the proton gun. Okay, and then they, they form magical pi and sigma bonds, pi bond, sigma bond, pi bond. They come off the roller and we put a top sheet uh, substrate on it. For example, like uh, down here I have rubber sheet roll. It's a rubber that expands, clear uh, rubber that expands three and a half its own times, its own size. Okay, once they hit, come down here, they hit their hybridized state and uh, and then, then they can form the, the pi bonds and the sigma bonds and then come off here in, the, of course, the hexagonal um, shape there. Thank you for watching.